I've supported the engine from the top with a beefy 4x4 four four and a strap hooked to a clip there. And now I'm going to proceed to remove this engine mount here as instructed, which will be this major thing. Alright, so ambitiously only holding a 3 8 drive. Thinking I actually can break it loose with this and that is, like I said, probably a little too optimistic. Let's see if I can move you where I'm not going to block you. regular socket on here instead of a deep well. I feel a little bit better about putting that kind of up when it's not the leverage of a deep well in this case. Fast forward and blank out the noise. figure out what's next. I don't know how long my battery is going to hold out, but we'll do what we can do. Um, the next thing is to remove a couple of the engine mounts from the transmission, it appears. And uh, first one is this guy here. be taking this mount all the way off. I've got the other one off. And again, the whole thing is supported by that 4x4 on the fenders and uh, we should be good. So bring you back when that's out and it's ready to lower. All right, so here's an update. This mount, for whatever reason, that one came out as the stud in the block. That one came out as the nut on the stud. That one rounded off. I don't know if you can see, that's some sort of male star or something. I tried putting vice grips on there. That wasn't coming loose. So hopefully I can lower this because it appears that we have clearance there. I took the nut off the end of the that goes through there, there, right through there, and that allowed this to rotate freely. And with those bolts off of there and there, I should be okay. Now, regarding the transmission, there appears to be more bolts. I'll show you what the manual. Manual points to I see four arrows. There are a lot more than four bolts I've already pulled out. This thing just doesn't want to come loose. Now, I'm thinking there's some on the opposite side. 
this one let's see here we go that one there I had to move that pipe there was one behind there um, I'm just gonna have to look some more all right I wanted to make sure I was actually removing the correct things here um, because that picture and where the bolts are at does not match so I was afraid well maybe I'm maybe I'm not disassembling maybe I'm supposed to disassemble here but that doesn't make sense it shows this being the entire transaxle number 22 so it goes all the way back past these ribs up to this face so I would call that a bell housing but they it's part of the part of this transaxle that I need to remove so with that in mind let me get underneath here find my light there it is um, I removed all the bolts I could find coming from the transmission side and that did not result in it coming loose so even though it doesn't point out bolts even though it doesn't point out bolts here and there and some more on the other side I'm gonna take those loose I've got the transmission jack underneath the transmission the strap on top is tight so we'll see how this goes so right in the center of the screen is a bolt it's out as far as it can before it hits a what appears to be some sort of mount for something um, I don't want to take that off good news is it's loose it's pulled back it appears that the transmission is now loose and I'll see if I can set you up and you can watch me try to lower it out wish me luck here let's see how this goes now it says to lower the engine I need to make sure this is actually I'm just seeing relative movement and I've got one more Those three I'm gonna put in the tray. Well, it seems loose, but yeah. All right, so we lowered this some. I'm gonna lower the engine a little bit more. All right. I guess I need to go looking for some more bolts because it's just not wanting to uh, break loose. I did some strategic prying and it seems like I've been able to get to slide from there. Check above and see. It appears that we're almost down low enough up here. and see if we can drop the engine a little bit more because it appears that we're contacting where I was unable to get the engine mount out back in there still contacting back in the dark anyway I'm gonna work on that trying not to get frustrated so here where we're at 
I got that part of the engine mount off to try to give us some clearance but we're still hitting on this tried a number of different ways to get that stud out and failed in every single one so it may come down to having to use the nut breaker to get that nut off there uh, the other thing I'm finding that the manual doesn't of course talk about is that this tube is jamming up on the flange of the transmission if you follow it back right back behind there I don't think I've got a better view maybe up there anyway it goes into a fitting uh, with two screws and a retainer two nuts and a retainer and I think you can see one right there. There we go. So I've got one nut out, working on the second one. Hopefully that will allow that tube to fall forward. All right, so the other thing we're hanging up on is that the differential sticks out to the side and it runs into the car body right in there which won't allow me to slide it off. I had the same problem working on a, another front wheel drive car and ended up having to rotate rotate the differential up to clear that. Maybe it's down. Well it's one way or the other. We'll we'll figure that. Wanna get this hose out of the way or this tube out of the way first. Oh and yeah so as we're monkeying around with things I uh, pulled on some tube, it looks like it's for the air conditioning when I was moving the engine around and it looks like I've put a hole in the side of the radiator. Yay. Alright, I fussed with it and for a little bit fussed with getting the transmission out and I just think that this side needs to get disassembled like the other side to remove the drive axle and that should, I don't know why the directions in the manual didn't tell me to do so, but it didn't. So I'm going to go forth and take this side apart. I'm going to cut the springs and probably replace the shocks slash struts anyway. So it was going to have to come apart. May as well. So I'll do that now. But it's just basically a repeat of the other side. So I'll bring you back when it's all taken apart behind that bolt is the shaft. Now I was concerned about why things wouldn't come out and I think what had happened was is that the transaxle had hung up on that shaft. Now that shaft is connected via a bearing back in here somewhere. Like right, there's my finger, right in there. And that bearing is attached to the engine so then is the shaft that goes to the right side of the car so I didn't need to take apart anything on the right side in order to get the transmission out the directions in the manual are correct I don't know why I doubted them um, other than things weren't working and so I was able to slide the transmission some more. When I was yanking the engine around, and you see how the engine's kind of sitting at an angle, which is hopefully going to help get it, the transmission out. Um, there's a pipe that runs along the side of the radiator, and of course it put a hole in the radiator, because that's just how things go. So I'm going to drain the coolant, take the radiator out. It also then gives me a chance to remove the air conditioning condenser on the front which is coming out anyway and with that out of the way should give me access in here to remove the air conditioner compressor so drain the coolant remove the radiator remove the condenser uh, hopefully these fans come with it anyway um, we'll get on that and that should allow me to more easily move the engine around then I think the only thing attached to it at that point of significance is the exhaust pipe coming off the back We'll, we'll see how that goes.